in the last 12 to 18 months, there's been a transformation globally into understanding the significance of therapies uh, in this new phase in the pandemic. If people are negative, they can get vaccinated. And if they can't get vaccinated or they don't want to get vaccinated, they should have access to treatments. And so you need to have different tools in the toolbox to be able to address those challenges. And you needed to be able to deliver and uh, provide those tools, in this case therapeutics, different products. You need to be able to deliver those to many different places, in, including places that maybe don't have advanced systems in place in order to provide those medications. I think the most important thing when we talk about ensuring equitable access globally is political commitment. Thus far in the pandemic, we've had the Access to COVID Tools Accelerator, the Act A, formed up with its ambitions uh, to galvanize action internationally uh, across vaccines therapies, diagnostics, to bring them forward for low and middle income countries. In terms of therapies, we really have not seen an effective global mechanism created. It is important to have a high level sort of global com commitment um, around equitable access and distribution of therapies, of vaccines, of diagnostics um, to uh, address this pandemic and future pandemics. It's clear that the United States played and must continue to play, I think, the engine of innovation and discovery and development, certainly in terms of vaccines and therapies. Uh, without the innovative power of the United States, biomedical industrial base over the last couple of years, the world would have been in a much more difficult place than it is now. My own view is that what we need to be pushing for is an ad hoc coalition of interests who are committed in this area with very strong U.S. leadership. And that's going to require coordination, not just be at the global level where you have manufacturers and multilateral organizations that are providing guidance to countries, as well as donors who are providing money to help make this whole system work. In addition to that global mechanism, I think what's important is um, building up and supporting regional um, policy bodies, regional distribution mechanisms, regional coordination mechanisms, whether they're in Africa, um, whether they're in Southeast Asia, whether they're in Latin America, this is endemic to uh, dealing with these pandemic threats that they, we, we go through a cycle of crisis followed by neglect and complacency. Right now, we need to keep reminding ourselves of the need to keep our eye on the ball and in, in these forms of very important preparedness. And there needs to be a, a continued campaign to ensure deep appreciation of the fact that an inability to provide equitable access to these tools is simply going to prolong difficulty for all of us.